So today I am going to answer a question that I am sure plenty of many of you have asked yourself. The hell do I do with this brush? I am going to help you out, give you some direction. And I will be using the James Charles palette to do so. And the Morphe, is it 9J? Yep, 9J. It's going to take a little bit of time for me to get through this video. I'm going to give you a lot of detail. Brushes can be used for different things, but there are certain type of brushes that are used for certain things. If that makes sense, hopefully it makes sense by the end of the video. But because this brush is more dense, then that means that I can pack on color, okay? The more dense the brush, the more payoff you get with packing on. If it has longer hairs, that also means it can be used to blend things out. We're applying Spooky, and we're gonna go all the way into the inner corner. Now, the beauty of this brush, and another reason that I use this brush, is because it has longer hairs so I can blend out. So once I have like a little to no product on the brush, I'm going to turn the brush over to the side and really light strokes. I'm gonna begin blending it up a little bit. And this helps with blending out the shade. Before this brush, I used to use the Morphe JH33 which was shaped pretty much the same way. And it essentially does the same thing, but I like this brush better just because I like this brush better. When you start playing with brushes, you're gonna find what works for you, what's the best for you. So we're going into Cold James to do my transition. I don't care if I start with the transition or I start with the crease in blend out for the transition either way it goes i love the makeup shack t79 so let me show you with a clean brush so the makeup shack t79 right where this blending brush period it has longer hairs and it's puffy which means that it's going to help you blend out product it's you're gonna have you're gonna use this to cover a lot of space okay so the poofier the brush the more blendability that it has meaning that it's gonna help buff things out if it's really you don't want to be you don't want to use a poofy brush for a precise area going in with the makeup shack 279 tapping off the excess and i'm going to begin to blend out spooky i do want to make sure that i am blended out the way that i want to be blended out before i cut my crease because I can deepen up my crease because there's a brush for that. But once I cut my crease, because the blending brush, because the T79 is fluffy and it's bigger and it covers more space, I don't want to mess up the cut work and the work that I'm going to do on the bottom of my lid. So I'm just gonna make sure that it's buffed out the way I want it to be. Um, I'm not gonna cut my crease. I'm not gonna cut my crease on camera. But I am going to show you that I use the um, Makeup Shack. I'm not Makeup Shack. I'm sorry. I use the Morphe M421. I'm sorry. I'm trying to multitask. I'm looking for something. Um, this is the brush that I use to cut my crease because it's round. So, of course, it can go on the outline of my eye. It's flat and it's dense, which means it's going to help pack on product. The smaller the brush hairs, the denser they are, the more product you are going to pack on. The longer the brushes, the fluffier the brushes, the more buff and blend you're gonna get from the brushes. I'ma say a whole bunch, so you 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 gonna know it. By the end of this video, you, you gonna know, okay? You gonna know. Okay, so I'ma make sure it's nice and flat. It's another reason why I use this brush to cut my crease, because I can flatten everything out. So now I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 166. Now, the Morphe 166, as I've said before, I'm gonna say it again. It's more dense, okay? Now, the brushes are a little bit longer, but it's still a dense brush, okay? And also the shape of the brush is important too because I'm using to go into my eye. 
I mean my lid space underneath the crease and it's oval okay all right so going back into James Charles and what is the name of you honey what is the name of you artistry I'm gonna begin by going into artistry which is this beautiful iridescent purple I love this I am going to use some NYX fix plus brush and I'm going to apply this on my lid now I'm going to use this to pack on the product to lay the product on first lay it down lay it down this brush lays it down now I'm gonna go in, and this is just what I use this brush for. It's optional. Well, I probably use it every time. So I go in with this flat Alomar brush. It's very flat, it's oval in shape. I use this to take the color up to the top of my cut without going over. I also use this brush to apply um, glitter eyeshadows. I mean to apply glitter to my eyelid because it's nice flat and dense so it's it's not fluffy at all like I wouldn't I wouldn't you can again this goes back to when you get into brushes you get into your preferences you can use a brush like this to pack on glitter I don't like it because for me it's too fluffy and I want to have more control over where the glitter is going to go so I typically won't do that Okay, so now I am going to flip this brush over. I'm going to go into the Morphe 9J. And I'm going into, I want to say it's called Butterflies. Yep. I'm going into Butterflies, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to apply this right on top. Actually... I'm still going to apply this on top, but I just realized what color I really want to go right here. And I'm going to put it right on top of this. Yes, I am. I sure am. I am going to go into the Norvina palette. I think this is my favorite ABH palette by far for sure. And I'm going to go into Wild Child. And I am going to apply Wild Child. I'm going to make sure I use the right side of the brush I'm just gonna put wild child right on top of that other pink just to kick it up a notch oh yes yes that's what I wanted oh god I'm surprised I didn't think of this sooner and I'm going back on the other side with the James Charles just to make sure I don't lose it and I'm going to go back and forth, blending these two together. Yes, child. So I'm going to show you two different brushes um, because I typically use two different brushes. Well, I used to use the Morphe M507 for this step. And you can still use the Morphe M507. But like I said earlier, earlier, you'll learn certain brushes that really just work for you and that you like. And I'm going to use the Sigma E45. It is a small tapered blending brush. Okay. If you can see how this brush is shaped. This brush, the M507, is similar, similarly shaped to this. This brush is just a little bit more dense and it's a little more poofy. But what I do with brushes such as these is I... I am going to dip into Spooky. Let me show you how I'm dipping into it if I can. Just like this on top. Because I really want the color to come at the point of the brush. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Tapping off the excess. I tilt my head back a little bit. And I'm going to go in and deepen up my crease. And I'm also going to use, because the way it's angled, I'm also going to use like the sides of the brush just to kind of blend it out a little bit 
Okay. So now I'm going to go in with my Morphe JH40. And I'm going to go into... What is the name of the shade? I'm going to go into Escape. Which is a purple shade. Now, this brush is smaller. So I'm using it for a smaller area to be more precise. It has longer hairs not really short hairs and it's a little poofy so i'm gonna use it to blend stuff out i'm not using it to pack on the color swivel this around a bit tap off the excess and i'm using this in this outer corner part right here to blend these two shades together this is the final look Ooh, Rihanna, I see you, girl. Thank you all so much for your patience. I told you all this was going to be a little bit of a long one just because I wanted to make sure that I really went into as much detail that I could think of about what the hell I do with this brush. Um, what can it be used for? Also, depending on your look, let me also say that there are some looks where you can use one brush and one brush only. You can use brushes like this to pack on product onto your lid. It gives you different types of finishes though, which when you play with it, you'll learn what can be used for what. But the number one thing that I want you all to take from this is the flatter, the more dense the brush, that's typically used to pack on product. The fluffier and longer the hairs, the more space you can cover. The more that brush is typically used to buff and blend things out. If you don't remember anything else, please remember that. Um, the shape of brushes are important. Um, where you the shape is a signal. The shape indicates where you're going to use them, how you're going to use them. So just keep all that in mind. I know there are so there are like so many brushes, and I try to use as much as I could and break it down as much as I could. So I hope that you all enjoyed that. Um, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. I know this video was lengthy. Um, I hope that you found it very informative. And I will see you all next time. Tell a friend to tell a friend so we can be friends. That's it. That's all I got. Bye, beauties.